YouTube, there is no firearms in this video. Welcome back to the Loki Ergonor YouTube channel. In this episode, I will be tuning this Beam and Chief 2 3000 PSI in .22 caliber. The rifle is currently at 6 turn on the Ammer Spring as a result of my first tune attempt. By the way, I don't remember quite well, but I was at around 2400 PSI before starting to shoot with 0 turn on the Ammer Spring. This is where I discovered that my first tune was 6 turn on the Ammer Spring because I had to cut this wrench to make it fit and be able to do a full turn and this was right around 6 turn from flush which is pretty nice since we now got a playlist for 6 turn on the Ammer Spring and out of the box was around 7 turn next will be 8 turn and that will give us some nice graph to com compare the fill pressure, shot curve and stuff pretty nice okay so with zero turn on the ammer spring and 2400 psi we got only 355 fps which most likely means a valve lock if you fill it to 3000 psi so let's give that two turns so with only two turns on the ammer spring and less than 2400 psi we got only 561 fps that is not enough so i decided to give it another two turns just a bit over 2200 psi i will pump before doing anything else so four turn on the ammer spring with around 2300 psi gave us 772 so let's see what it can do at around 2900 psi all right so four turns at 2900 psi will not cause a valve lock but let's give it another two turns this is pretty much the setting that i've been shooting it in the last few videos with not really great accuracy so this gave us 743 which is pretty much where it was at the top of the field pressure in my chronograph test but that's fairly low for the top of the pressure i decided to give it another two turns just to check what that gives us that's pretty much where i will keep it at the end of the video and for the future shooting videos i guess so stay tuned to see what eight turns on the ammer spring does after trying seven and six turns out of the box and my first tune you know playlists are available in the bio a air under 2800 bj maybe Let's see what it can do just for fun, but I should not have resetted the chronograph application, but let's do that anyway. I wanted to get the consistent shot string, but let's see how much it got left and put it back there after, who knows. Wondering. Two turns. Still can't do two turns. That's pretty interesting. Let's see. That was loud. We are now currently at maybe 2700 psi at 10 turn on the Ammer Spring. We got 993 and 990. I wanted to see if there was any more adjustment left in this Ammer Spring, and one turn is pretty much the maximum i'm starting to feel resistance i believe that's 11 turn so let's see what it does that might be very very loud so yeah this is pretty much the maximum power that this rifle has keep in mind that a different pressure might give us more or less velocity so give or take a few fps we are still using crossman holo point 14.3 grains and this rifle is advertised at 830 fps in 22 cal and 1000 fps in 0.177 i don't know if you noticed but this one is a 0.22 and we are pretty far from 830 so b-man may be claiming a bit more velocity might help you to sell more of them because there is a huge difference in between a 22 foot pound rifle and a 32 foot pound rifle i, I believe at least 
around 2600 psi full power let's see uh, maybe i need to pump it up to get more power but maybe not i don't know That's just way too much air. So yeah, it can do pretty much 1,000, near 1,000 with 14.3 rains, I guess. I don't really care about all of the powers, so I decided to take out three turns on the Ammer Spring. That will give us eight turns. Three. I believe that's where I was. So yeah, you get around 11 turns of adjustments. I'd say 10 is pretty much a maximum anyways because we did not gain any velocity. So I'm getting 960 at... Right around 2400 PSI. That's not too bad. Looking at the curve that we got in my first tuning video, 6 turn might be the minimum for a usable tune, but 8 turn should perform a lot better. So I believe this is 8 turn on the Ammer Spring. Let me put that in the corner of the video. I like what I see at this pressure. I'm right around 2400 PSI now. I will most likely do a full shot ring, but not on camera, because that's annoying and let's show you that in some ways during my fancy editing. Thank you. Let's start with a quick recap of the sixth turn on the Ammer Spring Tune. I did get around five shots extra, but in a weird pressure range, so that was not great and it did not perform very well anyways. It did better out of the box at around seven turns on the Ammer Spring. I don't know exactly, but this was around seven turns. The curve was more in the middle of the field pressure and we did get some pretty decent results from that, okay. The new tune for the next few videos will be 8 turns on the Ammer Spring. This is what you are looking at right now. I like where the best shot string is in the field pressure curve slash, you know, it is pretty much in the middle. You do use a tiny bit more air but you get a lot more energy to get better results at 50 meter and stuff like that here is the full crony data thing okay in the Coldwell application that by the way only works on my iPhone that's pretty annoying enough rambling about the Coldwell app but yeah basically from around 2500 psi to around 2100 psi you get a very nice 10 shot string uh, I don't know if that's what I used in my videos, but I need to get better at this and I need to get better at tuning. I've learned a lot from making this video and I hope that you did too. If you got a Beam and Chief 2, 3000 PSI yourself, let me know what kind of settings you are using. I know some people are better than me at this, like Beamens Factory. Anyways, thanks for watching. A huge thank you to Ergon Archer Fund Canada for making this video possible. He even sent me some more pellets to try in it after the 80s, the Jumbo and Primstone videos. So stay tuned for that and I'm out.